Hey guys, it's Finger Tech. I'm here to show you how to make a muzzle flash for your movies or videos or whatever you want. What you need to do is you need to go to Movie Maker Windows is what I'm using. You need to go to Videos and then go down to the movie you want and click on it. What you need to do is play the movie until it starts going back like that and you need to click back frame by frame until you get it just right and I think that's it let me make sure uh, yeah that's it okay and then you need to press this split button right here and play I'm I had other ones so I want to delete the rest to right there I'm just going to split it again and delete it if you have any extra and then once you get to the end of the first one, right before, you need to go to tools here in a second. Once you play this, I thought it should look. Okay, and then you need to go to the end, and then go to tools, and go to take a picture from preview, and then save it as whatever you want. I'm going to save it as muzzle flash uh, here, muzzle flash. And then save. And what you need to do is you need to minimize it. You need to go to paint.net. If you have it, if not, I'll put a link of how to download it. And then you need to go to file. And you need to go to open. Right there. And then you need to type in what you had. Um, if I find it, which I'm not going to find it, so I'm going to type it in. And it should be under muzzle flash. I don't know why I'm talking in gun. Muzzle flash. Okay, and then once you get there, you need to minimize this and go to the internet. And go to Google. Okay, and then you need to go to images and type in muzzle flash. Okay, and then. I'm going to pick this one, just because it's the first one, and I have to just click on it, well no, never mind, you don't need to click on it, I'm going to go back, okay, well, you need to go to right click, and go to copy, and then go back to paint.net, and then go to edit, and then go to paste to new layer, and then you need to rotate it to where, the way you want, uh, get it, hit, um, and get it perfect. Well, I'm going to try to get it perfectly, so, there we go. Okay, and then you need to go to this button that says Magic Wand, click it. This will erase the background. All you have to do is click on it and press Escape or press Delete. Or if you want to go to Cut on the top hand of this screen, it's up to you. And then you need to drag it to right here. I'm going to make it skinnier and longer. I know this isn't my greatest because it's my first one, but please deal with me. Okay, and then you need to go to File, Save As, and then just make sure it's a JPEG, otherwise it won't work. Because that's really important right there, JPEG. Okay, and then Save, and it'll say if you want to overwrite it or replace it, and press Yes, press OK, and press Flatten. It won't, it won't hurt at all if so you press the button. And then you need to go to pictures. You need to type in muzzle. Muzzle flash. And then press import. Okay, now that you have that, you need to drag the movie down. Wait, that's a picture. Crap. Go back. Okay, and then you need to go to the first movie. And then you need to go to the muzzle flash that you just made and you need to zoom it in a little bit and then you need to zoom it and you drag it to make it as small as you can and then you need to take the second part gun one is mine and then bring it down and place it right behind it and then drag this back and this is how it should look okay you can't see it this time because my when is Movie Maker glitched a little bit? I'm going to mute this. You're not able to hear this, but I'm going to mute it just in 
case. Okay. And then you need to drag it back. Okay, and then you need to press play, and that's how it should look right here. I know it ain't the greatest because it's my first try at this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment if possible.